When it comes to tires, there's an alarming number of people who don't give it much thought when it comes time to replacing them. A lot of people will just buy the same tire that came on the car from the factory, which can be okay, or they might try a cheaper option that your local tire store may have on the shelf to save a few bucks because all tires are the same being black and round, right? Yeah. To debunk that myth, today we're at Michelin's Lawrence Proving Ground in South Carolina to experience how two mystery all-season tires perform back-to-back. Both tires are part of the same consideration set and priced comparably. The sidewalls have been shaved, so we don't know what tires are on the car, but I'm gonna take a wild guess that one of them is a Michelin. For a bigger scope of how the tires perform, we'll not only be running them in new condition, but also worn ones buffed down to 3 seconds tread depth, putting them near the wear bars. This will give us an idea of how the tires perform throughout their life cycle. And to make it more interesting, today's test will take place on wet surfaces. The first exercise is a braking test in Toyota Camrys. We'll be doing full ABS stops from 45 miles per hour using a GPS performance box to measure stopping distance on worn, low grip pavement with one millimeter water flowing over it. For tire A in new condition, it stopped from 45 miles per hour in 81.2 feet and 91.6 feet worn, so that's a little more than a 10 foot difference. Tire B stopped in 99.3 feet new and 127.5 feet worn, for a drop off of nearly 30 feet, which is substantial. Interestingly, a worn tire A outperformed a new tire B. For the second test, we'll tackle a wet handling course with the tires mounted on Nissan Jukes. Here, we'll see how they perform through the slalom, around sharp and gradual turns, and under light and hard braking. Basically, we'll be running them through daily driving maneuvers and some accident avoidance moves on every lap. When it comes to tires in new condition, there is a difference. The A tire has quick turn in, lots of grip, and the back end likes to stay planted. But on the other hand, the B tire isn't as sure-footed. It's quicker to understeer, and the back end likes to step out, causing stability control to cut in. When it comes to the worn tires, A performance is not that bad. Grip levels isn't as high as a new one, but it's still very capable and comfortable. In contrast, the B tire performance falls off drastically. There's a lot of slipping and sliding at turn in, through the turns and when powering out of the corner. It's just not very confidence inspiring. It's the end of the day, we've had some hard numbers and experienced performance differences between Tire A, which we found out to be the Michelin Premier, and Tire B, a Goodyear Eagle Sport. The Michelin in both new and worn conditions stops quicker, feels better on the handling course, but most interesting of all, worn performance doesn't fall off drastically to ultimately make for a safer ride throughout the lifetime of the tire. Does that mean you should run out and buy Michelin tires? Not exactly, but take it more as a lesson that not all tires are created equal when it comes to new and warm performance with variations in tread design, compounds, and footprint shapes. So before you buy a new set of tires, do your homework because it's an important safety decision. Maybe the most important safety decision with a tire being the only physical thing connecting your car to the road. And that's something you probably shouldn't skimp on.